Hey, Mason, Sam with Hornets.com. Welcome to Charlotte. Um, just kind of looking for your overall thoughts. What was your reaction to the, the trade from Detroit? And then how do you feel like your skill set is going to be a good fit uh, for this Hornets team here in Charlotte? Yeah, I was uh, really excited about the move. Um, you know, I, I think my, my skill set will fit in well. Um, you know, it's a really well-coached team. Seems like they have a lot of smart players and it always makes, makes the game easier. So I'm um, looking forward to getting on the court with the guys. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Mason? Uh, Jonathan Alexander, Shaw Observer. Hope you're doing well. Um, you, you know, you talk about your skill set. What, what in particular do you think uh, you bring, you bring best to Charlotte? And then also, you know, after playing with the, playing against them last year, what were your impressions uh, of them? Yeah, they were um, they were really impressive. We, you know, when we played Charlotte, they they were really physical on defense um, and they, they flew the ball up the floor. I think, um, you know, they advanced it with the pass as well as anybody I felt like we, we played against and, and they really um, moved the ball well in the half court too. So um, those are things that, um, you know, I look forward to playing with. Let's go to Richie and then Sam. Hey, Mason, uh, how do you feel about coming to a team where there's a lot of youth and, and you're one of the few veterans on the team? And, and does it make it more difficult for you to be that vocal leader with you being new to the team? Um, you know, I, I think with any new situation, I, I've been on a few teams now and, and, and experienced this dynamic. I think you just, you know, you, you come in, you, you go to work, um, you, you kind of earn the right to speak, so to speak, and then, um, you know, say what needs to be said. I think um, you know, I, I don't, I only know a handful of the guys, um, I'm looking forward to playing with them, but, um, you know, really within a locker room, every, everybody's a, a leader at some point. So, um, I just think it's, you know, Gordon's older, um, he has great experience in the league and he's had a lot of success, but there's a nice balance of, of young and, and some veterans. Appreciate it. Hey Mason, welcome to Charlotte. Uh, when you signed with Detroit, you were coming off a couple of years as uh, kind of a, a first man or one of the first guys off the bench role with the playoff team. What role were you looking for when you originally signed with Detroit? And what's the role after that experience as a full-time starter there that you're hoping to step into now with the Hornets? Yeah, so, you know, going back to free agency, um, you know, the plan and talking to the staff there was was that we were going for the playoffs. Um, you know, Blake and Derek were healthy. We wanted to hit the ground running, um, you know, within last season, you know, the the um, objective changed, obviously, and it became a different, um, you know, a different uh, approach to the season. So, um, you know, I, I'm open to, to anything coming down. You know, my understanding is that, you know, it's an open uh, competition within uh within the team and in training camp and is a player that's all you ever ask for and, and what you look forward to let's go to chris lee and then back to sam Perley. hey mason i have a, a two questions i'll start out with the first one um how excited are you to be uh, playing back in north carolina since uh, since you left college but then also since you are and this is coach k's last year do you think you'll try to, you know, take some maybe one of your off days to sneak up to a game, sneak up to Durham to to see Coach uh, in his last year? Yeah, I'll definitely try. Um, he's having a camp down in Durham right now, so I'll go. I'll head over there this weekend. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I actually I went to high school in Asheville as well, so North Carolina has always felt like a second home. Um, grew up in Indiana, but spent seven years down here between high school and college. So. I love North Carolina. I'm happy to be in Charlotte and, and looking forward to it. And uh, my follow up question was uh, about, you know, playing with Gordon Hayward uh, since you guys did go up against each other for the national championship. Uh, was that something that ever that, that has ever come up between you guys when you guys have played against each other, other stops, uh, more bragging rights between that? And, and you think uh, that'll play out as you guys are our teammates as a way to build some chemistry between you, between you guys? Yeah, I mean, he. I, I've been a fan of his um, since we played Butler. Um, he's had a great career and uh, look, just looking forward to playing with him. I saw him here at the gym the other day and, um, you know, he's, uh, again, one of those players that's that's really good, but also a smart player and, and knows how to play the game. So uh, just looking forward to getting on the same side as, uh, with him. Thank you. Sam and then Rod. 
Mason, I know your brother was here uh, maybe three or four years ago. I know it wasn't for very long, maybe a few months, but has he, have you talked to him about what his experience is like with Charlotte? I know it's a very different team, but just what it was like being here, being in Charlotte, and obviously, like you said, kind of being close to where you played high school and uh, college as well. Yeah, we, we talked. Um, we haven't talked since the trade about it, but um, when he was playing here, we talked about it. So, um, you know, he gave me some insight into the organization. But to your point, you know, different staff, different management. Um, so, you know, all, it seems like a lot of these teams, the, um, it's, it's never the same situation, even if you both played for the same team. Thank you, Mason. Let's go to Rod. What's up, Mason? What's happening, my guy? How you, <laughs> how you doing, my man? Yeah. Uh, just first thing, man, is um, JB a minute ago said that he thinks you can be a playmaker for this team at the five spot. Just wondering from your perspective, how much you look forward to doing that and how you think your skill set will help these young guys on the floor be able to make plays? Yeah, I, that, that's good to hear. Um, you know, he shared that with me when uh, when I was traded. And um, I, I think I can help help guys. Um, you know, my my goal is always to make the game easier for the next guy. Um, and, and you appreciate that being part of a team. So, um, you know, what, whatever, you know, we'll figure all that out when we get on the floor and we get in training camp. But um, you know, I've always been ball friendly. I've always had a good feel for passing, setting guys up, um, playing off the great guards. Um, I've been fortunate to play with great guards my whole career. So looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's that's really my my approach. And then you mentioned, you know, guards, obviously the mellow was here. Just wondering what you knew about him from afar. And then when you got traded, did anybody say, hey man, you get to play with like people are happy to play the mellow ball out there for a set? Yeah, I mean, you know, to, to what I spoke to earlier in playing against Charlotte last season, I was just so impressed with how how quick he got the ball up the floor and not always with the dribble, right? So um, to me, just that that pace is is something where, um, you know, it, it fits me as a player. Um, you know, I, I'd like to be a big in that in that kind of a an up-tempo game. So uh, it's, it's something that I look forward to.